London Derby, Chelsea versus Arsenal. Chelsea plus 200, Arsenal plus 130. Look straight down. Under two and a half goals is at minus 110. I think this is a very, very tight game. The draw is a runner at plus 240. Although, maybe both teams to score no is the safest way to go, Brad. Yeah, I agree with that. This is a gross game for me. Um, under would make sense. Uh, it's probably, I'm a very uh, timid under better as well, but it, it makes a ton of sense. We have two teams who have, uh, I want to say, longer uh, than expected injury sheets. Um, you know, Arsenal going to be without Sokka, uh, probably going to be out with Le- uh, Leandro Trossard, two key misses for them. But Chelsea's the really the biggest issue. I, I can't sit here and name off every player that's going to miss or likely to miss, or we would run out of time. Um, they, they are already a club who under, uh, they underperform based on their underlying metrics. Uh, a lot of shots with a lot, with a li- with a lack of quality. I don't know how that improves, especially in a Derby, especially against Arsenal. For me, it was an, a total pass here. Um, maybe I'll get in, involved in something live, but this is one of those matches where I don't even have lines that I want to hit in live, like situational live betting. So maybe I'll just grab my popcorn and watch Chelsea miss the shots that they get. I think that both these sides, they defend deep. I think the, the probably the strengths of Arsenal on the road has actually been their defending Mark O'Hare because the clean sheet against Palace, then obviously a clean sheet against Man City. But it weren't just a clean sheet against Man City. They sort of, they just stamped them out. I just do not see or know where the goals are coming from. And I think that maybe nil-nil's on the cards here or you work around the nil-nil. Maybe one-nil, maybe one-one. Yeah, I'm kind of um, straddling between the two of you, really. Um, It's not a game I want to get involved with. It looks like an ugly matchup. But if I was to be involved, I probably would be opposing goals. I think Arsenal would have loved to have carried on. Um, straight after the the uh, Man City match with this fixture, but obviously they've had the international break now, which kind of uh, slows a bit of that momentum, really. Um, in terms of the away record, as you said, Flash, they've been exceptional. They've been the best team in the country or the Premier League since uh, the start of last year in terms of their away record. 15 wins from 22, including winning at the bridge last season. It's now three straight wins away at Chelsea, which was almost unheard of a decade or so ago. There's no fear factor for them here anymore. Um, They're supremely confident. And um, we've talked about it previously, but their defensive record on the road in the Premier League is really eye-catching. 13 clean sheets in those 22 away games um, since the start of last year. Just 0.82 goals per game conceded. Uh, And only six sides have managed to score two goals or more at home to Arsenal in that stretch. So they will be quite difficult to beat. There is definitely a different side to Arsenal we see away from... Emirates Stadium, uh, which is much more pragmatic, um, as you said, uh, the game against Crystal Palace encapsulates that pretty well. Um, and for Chelsea, it just still don't really know where they're at. Uh, I'm not trusting them right now. The narrative has been that Chelsea have been a lot better than their results have suggested. Obviously, they've won the last two games, but the schedule has been quite kind to them too. Um, I still think there's a long road ahead. The Burnley win was significant in a few ways they came from behind it was the first time they won away one from behind in a league game for over a year it was also the biggest league win since april 2022 but it has to be caveated with the fact it was burnley and burnley are nowhere near the side we expect them to be and the previous win was against fulham who just didn't show up for that monday night derby so this match will be a proper test of their credentials and where they've come from so Quite happy to sit this one out and just uh, watch it. Well, I'm actually not expecting it to be too entertaining either. Guys, so <laughs> I can certainly see um, why you're going the route you are, Flash, because, uh, yeah, it's it's not a game I want to be involved with. But if I did, I would follow you in on the unders. Yeah, I've got unders. I've got unders here because I, don't, I think that the points are more important than the performance. Then we add in the schedule over the last four or five weeks of these teams. Chelsea don't know where they're at. And by the way, when Chelsea won at Fulham, they allowed 23 crosses into the dangerous areas. And I'm thinking, my God, now, OK, with Arsenal, they don't do that. So that's a bonus. Then they improved away at Burnley. Um, the one thing that Chelsea have got is some kind of uh, stability at the back. But Arsenal looks solid. I think this is draw half time. I think this is draw half time, and I wouldn't be surprised with the nil nil, but I don't want to get done with that last minute. If you want to go over to betus.com and bet the draw after 75 minutes and just wipe out the last 25, I think this is a draw after 75 minutes. Lock, eyes, uh, Lock S says Arsenal price is fine. 
not too sure that I want to be going with a winner here. But if you did put a gun to my head, then I suppose it would be Arsenal draw no bet. But I like the draw because I think that these are going to be two solid sides that are going to work it out in the middle of the park and they defend deep. Uh, I just see that both sides are going to... Uh, I don't, both teams to score no is another way to go. Let's have a little look. Under two and a half is at minus 110. First half draw plus 111. I'd even maybe go under one goal in the first half. I think that maybe one goal is going to be as much as we could possibly see, and it'll be a push, although I expect the market's probably at 0 .0 .2, uh, 0.15 or 0 0.5, uh, but there we go. Nil-nil will be lovely.